Howdy folks. This morning's hope is brought to us by Van Ule. Name this one here is Killies. Starts out being uh, four ounces. It's not four ounces anymore. <laughs> it's what it looks like there on the inside. And it's a fairly soft soap. Might be considered a crow. Very easy to get out of the tub as well as uh, whips up pretty easy in the bowl. Allen Block. No rubber band today. It's going to be a while. <laughs> Sterling Witch Hazel that is mentholated. This one is flavored uh, black ice. We're going to follow up with the uh, matching aftershave. And her aftershaves, Monica's aftershaves, you do have to shake them up just a bit before you use them. And uh, I know I, from time to time I keep on forgetting to mention it, but this is the beard butter I've been using off camera. And let's see here, shaver. Shaver I'm using is Razor Ring. This one here has got a Repair Platinum Lux. And that's what it looks like on the back side. This one here is the Raw Brass one. It's the one I prefer. <coughs> Excuse me, it kind of shows the, um, it's raw, so it'll naturally get patina on it. I'm quite alright with it. I feel the urge to shine it back up. There it is. Don't have to worry about the coating or anything like that. One of those things I kind of enjoy doing some from time to time. Got it whipped up here in a uh, Cerebachi bowl. This one here, of course, came from the thrift store. Uh, whipped up with a Omega brush. I think this is 10049 Professional. You can tell it's got the tall loft bore. Um, whipped up pretty easy. Got it on the wet side. And if you're not too sure about uh, a bore brush, at least a bristle, uh, not interested in breaking, uh, breaking in a brush or anything like that, they do make one. That's an S version, in other words, a synthetic. Very soft tips, still has the backbone of the professional that's a natural bore. Might be an option for you. And I think I'll go ahead and, I've already uh, put a hot towel to the face, so this morning I'll be using the uh, mentholated pre-shave soap ice, Phoenix Otters and Accoutrements. Go ahead and get started here. I thought I would do another video shaving with the Razorine. Didn't seem, at least in the, what I could look up, there wasn't a whole lot of way of videos on uh, this particular shaver. It is a very unique shaver, as you can tell. It is a, resembles a, a shave head, if you will, Camisori style, but it also has a safety bar. It's what I refer to as the DE on a stick. And if you can wrap your mind around that, your shaves will get even better. It's a, in other words, because if you're used to shaving with a uh, shavette, no safety bars, just just the, the blade, the exposure of the blade. And with this one here, having that safety bar, it gives you a way to set your angle without having that blade, how can you say, directly on your skin. It's got a little bit of a buffer, just like a DE. It's just that your handle is at the other end. Different than a DE placement of the handle. So once you can figure out how that's supposed to work for you, things go a whole lot better for you. I don't think it's quite as intimidating as maybe a Shavette or a straight razor because of that safety bar because you can put it right up against your face and then you can figure out what your angle is. Not that you can't do that with a uh, with a straight razor or a shave app. It's just mentally for some folks that's a little bit easier to <laughs> fit into somebody's head. I can understand. This scent of this soap, this is one of my favorite ones. This one is just awesome. I would say that uh, for some, the scent strength is uh, up towards, uh, in other words, 7. If you on a radar on the 1 to 10 scale, it's up there. It's not necessarily in your face, but it's definitely past moderate, in my opinion. In other words, I'd pick it up without a problem with my nose. And this particular scent, let's see here, I've got it listed over here because it's, it's a little lengthy. We got tobacco, Kentucky bourbon, cherry, vanilla, rosewood, cedar, birch, 
it's got a little bit in there <laughs> in the way of scent profile but uh oh it smells great blended really nice it i am unsure where i mean i pick up the vanilla of course i did the tobacco the the bourbon maybe a hand of the cherry but for some reason my nose picks up something that reminds me of or makes me think of cinnamon i couldn't tell you why it does seem like to be like a, I guess you might say a spicy tobacco. It seems like to me, your nose probably pick up something different, but you can kind of tell. Brown soap whips up kind of beige. Rinses out just fine out of the brush. I'm having any troubles like that? Go ahead and get started here. You can kind of tell there, it's pretty easy to work with. Um, I do hold it close to where the blade is at. Uh, as I go throughout the shave, you might see me adjust how I hold it. Whatever works best for you. In other words, it may take a, a few shaves where you finally get used to it. It is different shaving with it as opposed to any other shave bed or straight razor because of just the getting used to that has to stay on the outside. You might consider it somebody like me that uh, shaves with uh, just your dominant hand, one hand, that it's easier for somebody to adjust to this as opposed to somebody that's used to shaving with both hands. I don't want to make it sound like it's not possible to shave with it with both hands. I just it just seems pretty natural for just a dominant hand to be able to adjust to how to how to use it. There are a few videos out there. Um, Geo's got one that's out there. There's there's you know a few out there that uh, if somebody wanted to check somebody else out back when these first came out, Gio, he did a video on one. It is quite a bit of fun to shave with it, though, just due to the fact that it... Uh, uh, you still have that safety bar. It gives you a little bit more allowance for error, if you will. <laughs> I do find, and I think it has something to do with my eyesight and my glasses right through there I have a horrible tendency I did catch myself right there I thought I did um, not to keep the blade flat so in other words when it's uh, up against my skin instead of keeping it level I have a tendency to dip just a bit that one there I think it's because I didn't stretch enough right there but sometimes I'll catch myself right back here I can feel just it usually it doesn't bleed it's just enough to let me know that I've got my angle off <laughs> it happens but this scent is just uh it's awesome i haven't had any problems with irritation or anything like that but i'm not so sure that um, other folks may it does leave me with that impression I guess because of the what I feel like it feels like a spice that kind of leads me to believe that some folks may have an issue with it but this is really creamy I mean you see what's left on the face there 
It's going to have a nice post shave feel. Yeah, I thought right there, kind of felt it. Didn't stretch well enough. Just a wonderful scent. So if you were doing like a week of uh, tobacco type flavors or scents, if you got this one here, I think it might rate up towards the top. This one here is pretty nice. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites when it comes to tobacco scents. It is a complex scent, I should say. It's um, not straightforward like maybe some other tobacco scents are. This one here to me is complex. In other words, sometimes I'll pick up one flavor. Next one I'll pick up another. Uh, sometimes I ask, goes, I, now I might be picking up the birch and cedar and the rosewood, and I just don't know it. In other words, I'm not familiar with if I smell just, just one of those and then went to smell this, I might be able to pick it up, but not right now. <laughs> To me it is a little bit easier to try to do across the grain on the cheeks with this and have it be able to put my finger on it wide. <laughs> it just seems to be that way. I have a feeling that one there might be a little bit of a bugger to stop, get it to stop bleeding. may have to hunt down my Steptic pencil. I've been pretty lucky being able to get the little nicks and cuts to stop without it, but I think I've got it back over here somewhere. <laughs> I don't have to use it very often. I try not to, of course. You know how it works. I've been trying this blade out with this shaver all week and I have uh, seemed like from time to time end up with a, at least a weeper or something of the sort so it may be that perhaps this particular blade is not the one for me in this uh, shaver. I get a, in other words, smoother shaver with other blades. I have in the past at least. I mean, it is pretty fun to shave with though. For the most part, if you can keep it, in other words, not do like I do and get it off <laughs> a little bit, where you get to dig in just a little bit at the top, at the toe, your first shave may not feel like the closest until you can figure out what the best angle is for you. But you can start getting used to it though. It is a bit different. But for the most part in the mornings, it's not quite like a DE. There is a little bit of attention to detail, your focus, but not quite like it is with a, a shave vet for me. Not quite that demanding in other words. Face feels really good. Not dried out at all. Some soaps 
how can you say it? The um, poche feel is different. And uh, speaking of that sort of thing, I've mentioned before, in between a pre-shave soap and oil, if there's anything I really did notice is the uh, post-shave feel. It seems like that the oil, believe it or not, was still hanging around at the end of the uh, shave. And so in other words, the post-shave feel felt different than as opposed to the soap. I guess you might say it might be a benefit of using the oil as opposed to the soap and I haven't used it enough to know or be able to speak to one way or the other whether it actually does much to the brush in a way of gunking it up or anything like that and of course I do rotate my brushes out so that might be less of an issue as opposed to somebody that uses one or maybe two brushes, you know, consistently throughout the week and the, most of their shaves, you know, maybe then maybe something would pop up. But for the most part, I haven't had any issues like that. I haven't seen anything. doesn't feel like it. doesn't smell like it. haven't really noticed anything in a negative way. Good idea to shake this one up too, by the way. I like the aftershave. That's something, you know, I don't mind having menthol in the uh, soap. This one here has been offered where you can get some menthol put in. I, You know, as much as I like menthol, I, and I really like menthol, how it works on the face and makes the face feel and whatnot, I don't know that I would put menthol in this one here. And like I say, as much as I like menthol, I think it would distract from the overall scent profile. I just... In other words, I don't think menthol would be a good one for this one, in my opinion. <laughs> I, I like to say, I really like menthol, but I think with this soap, it just, it'd be too much of a distractor from the rest of the scent. I did get it to stop, amazing enough. I didn't think that one's going to stop bleeding. If you're not familiar with this, this is not alcohol-based. And I don't know of hardly any of her aftershaves that you don't have to give them a good shake. Comes in a plastic container, you get 3.4 ounces, and at an awesome price of a whole ten dollars. I realize that's more than what you may pay for if you go to your favorite store, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever the case might be. You can pick up an aftershave less than ten dollars, but not this scent and not this quality. It's got um, some of the uh, things that uh, that are in here. But yeah, there's aloe and there's witch hazel, and there's more than that in there. But you know, that's what the more or less the base of uh, of this kind of aftershave. In other words, it's first what's addressed is what's good for your face, and then the scent. And uh, this scent is just awesome, and this is great. I try not to use it very often because yeah, I could go all week. Matter of fact, I had the uh, matching uh, uh, beard oil and uh, no I don't have any more of it because I really like using it. it. The scent is just awesome. One of my favorites. What can I say? Had a great shave. Worked out alright. Stopped bleeding. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.